Here's a snare drum wrapped in the same material that's used to make guitar picks. And the shell itself, there's only one guy in America who's allowed to make them. Let's take a peek. Today we're looking at a Kerf Drumco snare drum. What's so special about this thing? Well, same material that's used to make guitar picks, that's what this thing is wrapped in. It looks crazy in the best way. And what's really special is under the hood. Like I said, one guy is allowed to build like this. He's got a patent to build like this. And the technology is in the name, Kerf. So some drums are built out of staves. You have these vertical pieces of wood, and with enough geometry and math, you're able to turn them into a circle, and these Legos create a drum. There's other solid shell drums where you take a piece of whatever, uh, maple, put it in a steam box, and then it comes out all floppy, and you're able to turn it into a circle that way, and just have the one glue edge connecting one side to the other. This is somewhere in between. You have a solid piece of, this is tulip or poplar, and you have these kerfs that are kind of like perforations in the wood, but they don't go all the way through, and then there's one glue joint that holds this whole circle together. It's really something special. Give it a listen right now. This thing is crazy sounding. There's like some of the mid tones kind of remind me of a stave drum. Some of it reminds me of a steam bent. And then some of the high end reminds me of like metal drums. It sounds like all these different materials and it doesn't sound like anything else at all. There's only one kind of drum that's gonna sound like this and it's a curve. It's worth checking out. Uh, the prices are great. The drums are really cool. And they're one of a kind built by one dude. Andy, the guy who builds these, has been perfecting this sort of drum building technique for years. And for many more years, he's been a furniture builder. So just like Sugar Percussion, another furniture builder turned drum builder for fun, Andy's now doing the same thing and putting his own spin on how to craft a drum. And there's something really special about furniture builders getting into this because there is such a level of attention to detail that comes with their craftsmanship. And just like how there's no other stave drum that sounds like a sugar percussion snare drum, there's no other drum, period, that sounds like a kerf drum. And, and that's just a really, really cool thing. Beyond the shell and the wrap, you know, we have pretty standard, high quality hardware on here. You have a trick throw off. These you can usually throw off the back of a truck and they're gonna work fine just afterwards. Classic tube lugs and upgraded die cast hoops on these. So now the other thing that you're gonna hear are the heads that I put on the snare drum. So I have an EC reverse dot Evans head on top. I have the snare side 300, pretty standard there, and some pure sound wires. What's cool about this drum is it has a really wide and deep snare bed. So you could put like 42 strand wires on here and I don't think you'd have a problem. But I wanted to put less wires on here because the way that I think about snare wires is this. You can always create the illusion of more snare sound, snare wire sound, by just bringing that bottom microphone up in the mix. But if you already have more than double the wires, this is 16, if you have 40 wires, or 42 strands rather, you're not going to be able to back that off as much as you would with 16. The other special thing is the less wires that you have under your snare drum, the more body you're going to be able to get out of that drum, especially under microphones. So let's hear this thing with some music now, because I think you're going to be really surprised that this thing can do anything from metal to Americana and anything in between. It's, it's amazing. Check it out.
Kerf Drumco from Minnesota. Wonderful drums, one of a kind. I was lucky enough to go to the Chicago Drum Show this year, and I played one of the Kerf drum sets made out of the same wood, Tulip. That kit sounds fantastic. They are just really, really cool drums. He's a really cool guy, and I'm really fortunate to have spent some time with him and with his drums. So thanks to Andy for letting us take this thing for a test drive. I hope you dig it. I'm going to play you out with some extra music now. Check out Andy on Instagram, and uh, if you have time, let me know what you think about this drum in the comments. Leave me a like. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed, or I'm going to mail you some uh, overdue fruit. It is rotting in my fridge. Look out. <laughs> <laughs>